from Anshay Svar Beth El Emeth Congregation. It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to the discussion of Shavuot, all together now. There's a Midrash that says that when Vayichan Sham Yisrael and that when the Jews gathered at Mount Sinai, famously, as the Midrash says, they gathered with one heart, like one person. Akash Baruch Hu, the Holy One, blessed be He, said, The proper time, the kosher time to give the Torah has come. Why? So you could say, oh, it's very nice when the Jews are all together, it's nice to give them the Torah. It's not just that. It says this Fasem is based on Asforno, that really the Jews can't keep the Torah. It's not possible. Why? Because the mitzvah, let's say, a get. I hope I never get to give a get. I never have to give a divorce. It's something that you don't want to do. But somebody does it, and they'll fulfill that mitzvah. Some people are unable to get married. They they don't find the right person. So someone else gets married. Some people are Israelites. They're not Kohenim. So they can't do the priestly blessings. Some people live in the times of the Beis HaMikdash, not in the times of the Beis HaMikdash. You can't do all the mitzvot from the Beis HaMikdash, from the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, if there's no temple. So many of the mitzvot require someone else to do it for you. So when can the Jews get the Torah? Only when they're able to put the pieces together. The Kohen says, look, I'll do the Kohen mitzvahs. You do the Israelite mitzvahs. The Levi will do the Levi mitzvahs. And the person who gets divorced will do the divorce mitzvah. The person who's a sheikh will do the sheikh mitzvah. The person who's a mo will do the mila mitzvah. And together, we're going to get this done. Then, so Hashem says, ah, if the Jews are together, if one Jew is connected to the other, if one Jew feels connected to the other, if one Jew is connected to the other, one view, each Jew views themselves as part of one whole, then I can give the Torah to them and they can fulfill the whole thing. And because what does the Medrash mean? The Medrash says, when the Jews said, everything God said will do. So the question is, wait a second, what do you mean everything? So Hashem says, oh, if they're together, then they can do everything. If they're separate, then it's not true. You're not a Kohen, so you can't do the Kohen mitzvah. But if you're together, then uh, even though you can't do it, but you're together with everyone else. When we, when we think about uh, the Jewish people, we have to think in terms of the, the Yushalmi and the Dorim that says that, you know, why can't you take revenge from your friend? Because it says, well, if, if one finger by mistake chops off the other finger, one hand chops and by mistake chops off a finger, God forbid, so the other finger is not going to take revenge against the other because it's all part of one body. We have to see ourselves as part of one body of Klai Yisrael. And not just with all Jews, Jews who are living today, because there's no base of Mikdash today. The mitzvahs of the Beis Mikdash, they have to be fulfilled by those who lived a, time, a long time ago and a long time coming from now. So we're also connected to all those who, who have lived and who will live. It's all part of one body of Israel. And now we can understand something in Parshas Bamidbar, which is always around the time of Shavuos as well. It says, Ka'asher tziva Hashem as Moshe, ba'yifkideim min bar Sinai. Just as God commanded Moses, and he counted them at Mount Sinai. So this Fasema says, it doesn't, it doesn't flow. You should ask it the other way. It should, you, should, you should say, I'm sorry, the Kedushas Levi, the Rebbe Levi, it's a He says, it should be the other way around. Moshe counted the Jews in Mibar Sinai, in the desert of Sinai. As God commanded. But no, it says, that, that as he commanded them, he counted them. What does that mean? It says we have to remember, somehow mystically speaking, there are 600,000 letters in the Torah. Yeah, exactly how that works. We talked about it in another video. But whatever it is, somehow... There are 600,000 letters in the Torah. And there are 600,000 proverbial Jews. That's how many there were when they went out of Egypt. So, when, uh, so every letter in the Torah is connected to a different Jew. So it goes like this. The Torah that God gave Moses. When he saw the Jews, he saw the Torah. What does that mean? 
Because if you don't know all the Jews, you don't know the whole Torah. Because to really understand Shabbos, you need to know Yosef Mercury Shabbos. He was really good at keeping Shabbos. To understand Kashrus, you need to know the guy who lived in Arkansas and drove 300 miles to get the, to get the meat every Friday to get kosher meat. To, to understand what, what, what it means to, to, to have kavan and davening, you need to see Rabbi David Lifshitz, Zechot Tzadik Livracha, at Yeshiva University, saying Shimon Esrei, davening in the Yeshiva University. Then you know what a Shimon Esrei uh, really is. To know what the, what the blowing the chauffeur, uh, to know you need to experience certain people. So, Kasher Tziva Hashem is Moshe, when exactly what God told Moshe, when he counted the Jews, he said, oh, now I understand. You told me the different laws. I didn't get it. But when you see all the different Jews, then you say, now I get it. This Jew represented that mitzvah really well. This Jew represented that mitzvah really well. That's what we say, Techel Kenu Torah, give me my portion in Torah. Give me that thing that I could uniquely express. What is it? Is it Bikrucholim? Is it, what is it that you can express best? Give it to me so that I can do it. Give, let me do my part so that we can have the fulfillment of what the Jews said at Mount Sinai. They promised. They promised, Nah, seven each we'll, we'll do it. How can we, how can, how can anyone, one person promise that? No. We were united and together we can do it. All together now, we can do it. Thank you for joining us here for our discussion of Shavuos, Parsha Bamidbar, and thank you, and join us each week for a discussion of Parsha on the holidays and various other videos. Thanks to Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. To learn more, visit asb.org.